Hey, everybody. Uh, in this current seller's market that we are in, there's a lot of discussion and talk about waiving the appraisal, waiving a property appraisal. So I want to do a quick video and just kind of share what that means. So again, generally speaking, when a lender goes about making a mortgage loan, they have an appraisal. Everyone's familiar with that. They send out a third party appraiser and that individual, he or she goes about, you know, comparing to other recently sold homes that are the most comparable and determining if the value being paid by the buyer and covered by the lender in this in this mortgage uh, is a fair market value so that they can go ahead and, and make that loan. So when we've gotten into these situations where people are competing for homes and you start hearing about, well, they've waived appraisal, what does that exactly mean? So waiving the appraisal is a, a kind of a, a misnomer because the lender will almost always still require an appraisal. The question is, maybe think of it more as, is there an appraisal contingency? Does the buyer have the protection that if the home doesn't appraise, then the typical contract language is that the buyer could pay the difference or the seller could lower the price to the lower appraised value since it, it didn't fully appraise at the sales price, or the buyer and the seller can figure something out that would bridge the gap between the sales price on the contract, uh, which again, in this case is higher than the actual appraised value so that again, everyone's happy. But effectively, the waiving of the appraisal contingency is what you're, you're really talking about in this market. So what does that mean? It simply means that the buyer is going to move forward with the purchase, whether or not it fully appraises. And what that really means is that the buyer has to have additional cash to bridge that gap between the sales price that they promised to pay in the contract and that lower appraised value, assuming that it does come in lower. And that difference could be significant sometimes. That could be five or 10 or 20 or $30,000, depending on how rapidly the, the property's price was escalated versus the current values that would, again, normally follow in an appraisal. So when we're advising sellers on our team, we're, we're very quick to point out that simply having a buyer say they're gonna waive the appraisal is not as meaningful as them going further and showing you through probably a conversation with their mortgage lender that if they needed to, they have the additional cash resources to bridge that gap and pay that difference. Every once in a while, we actually see something like that, some kind of language inserted in the sales contract that tries to assure the seller that that's in fact what would happen in the case of a low appraisal. But again, that the buyer is stating and is gonna act on the fact that they're buying the house, whether or not it fully appraises and they have the means to do so. Other quick thing here is that you, know, you gotta be a little careful with the low down payment loans or FHA or VA loans where it's really not meaningful for someone to say they're gonna waive the appraisal because the loan itself is predicated on the property appraising. Uh, if you have more questions about this, feel free to give us a call at 703-803-3893 or look us up on the web at www.theartofrealestateteam.com, theartofrealestateteam.com. And we'll look forward to uh, talking to you then. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel for future real estate related videos and information. And if you've got a real estate question you'd like us to handle, go to www.theartofrealestateteam.com, resources, and scroll down to Just Ask Art where you can submit your question and who knows, perhaps it'll be the topic of our next video. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.